Mickey, exciting news today. We've announced the signing of Blair Tickner, overseas mm. player until the middle of July. Another fast bowler, another player with international and winning pedigree. How excited are you to work with him? Yeah, really excited. Um, that's always part of our strategy this year was to was to have two genuine international bowlers to supplement our very good bowling attack as well for the for the first part of the season. So delighted to get Blair over the line. You know, with him and Amir, we've got um, uh, some real good international pedigree to go along with the likes of Sammy Connors and Zach Chappell and Pat Brown and Ben Aitchison when he's fit and Nick Potts. So I think um, our bowling depth now is, is really good. And one of the things I've seen over the last two years is that you really need good bowling depth in order to progress and to get where you want to be in the county championship. Yeah, and, and I suppose one of the big problems last year was taking 20 wickets, particularly here. Um, so bringing in two international bowlers, you've really revamped the pace bowling attack. You must be more hopeful that we can finish the job with the ball in red ball cricket. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, you know, that's not, we, we played on some, some wickets that were, that were fairly flat as well. So um, it, it, it is, what, what it does do is it gives us a real opportunity to always have fresh legs. And I think, you know, when you get to the start of particularly that first block of, of eight games, I think it is, that sort of entwines a little bit with the Vitality Blast. Um, you need fresh legs because guys, guys get miles. And, you know, we didn't have that depth last year. So we were taking tired guys into games, guys that were carrying slight niggles. Um, and, and, and with our depth now, we don't have to do that. So we'll always have fresh legs. We'll always have quality um, on, on the ground. So, so I couldn't be more excited. And he brings something a little bit different as well. He's very tall, genuinely very quick. He can play maybe a little bit of a different role to some of the other seamers. Yeah, he can. Um, he is slightly different. And, and, and that's one thing, you know, when you select an attack, you can't select everybody that's the same. Everybody's got to bring someone different. We've got a mere now with left arm. Blair Tickner, who's tall, gets bounced and, and at good pace. Zach Chappell, who, who, who swings it out. We've got Sammy Connors, who, you know, who, 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 who hustles. He's, he's quick. He hits the bat hard. He's, he's slightly shorter. He skids on. So, so you know, Pat Brown, who, who, who'll give us that little bit of mongrel. Aichi, who, who'll give us that mongrel when he's back. So uh, I'm really excited. Um, you know, you select an attack, you select differences. Um, so, so that things are slightly different for the batters. They've got to set up differently. So no, really excited and, and, and looking forward to have him. Um, he did play against the Pakistan team I coached in, in 2018 and, and I was really impressed with him. Impressed with his pace, impressed with the bounce he got. Um, and impressed with his skills, so so I'm really looking forward to having him aboard. Yeah, and of course he's worked with Ben Smith before as well. I suppose it's been good to be able to talk to him about about what Blair can bring. Yeah, I did. I, I had I had numerous discussions with Ben both when he was in New Zealand and and subsequently before we we, we got Blair over the line. So uh, um, Ben speaks very highly about him. Um, again, it's, it was nice getting that reference from Ben. Who had worked with him in the you know well, I saw him in 2018 so so we we're talking um, Ben who worked with him a couple of months ago so so we got sort of a current scouting report if you like um, and everything was really positive on that account so yeah couldn't be happier yeah and lastly we're getting towards the start of the season now had a very busy winter with recruitment but when you look at the squad now adding Blair in how do you surmise it compared to the end of last season? Yeah, I think, look, we, we wanted, uh, I certainly wanted to, to revamp the squad. I, we had to revamp the squad. We had to, we had to bring in fresh faces. We had to strengthen the squad in so many ways. As I said, year one, I, th I thought we, we got 100% out of the players and, and, and we achieved nicely. Year two, we, we just tapered, tapered off a little bit, played decently in games, not consistent enough. And, and I knew that we needed to revamp our squad. We needed to create depth. We needed to bring a little bit more quality in. And, um, and I think we've certainly done that. So I'm very excited where we sit as a squad at the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.